Welcome back to an installment of Dave's Garage, but this is not Dave's Garage. This is actually the firehouse that I volunteer at, and today we are replacing ballasts. These ballasts are like a 2005 model, a little weird, a little different, and I'll explain why here in a minute. And we're going to be changing it over to a little bit newer style ballast. This is actually an 8 foot light, it's a 96 inch, so it'll be a F96 T12. We're not going to do an upgrade to a T8 or a LED system because we have bulbs for this and we're just going to keep replacing bulbs and stuff, but we've got some ballasts that are out. In this firehouse there's actually three out, I've already placed one, i got two more to go, but we're going to show you how to test these and how to rewire them kind of correctly. I'm not an electrician, I'm just the guy around the firehouse that does a lot of the little fun work like this. and other things that need to be done so let's get on to it because it's been kind of dark in here we've had a lot of lights out and now we're finally getting around to repairing things around here and this is one of my jobs so let's get started so i've already pulled off the cover that's here i know took off there's the a shock hazard the negative i already kind of tested this but i'm going to bring it down but on these you just i'm going to pull these both of these sides down See if I can reach this one without falling. It's fine. Pull that out, and then we got one right fastener right here. This is fun doing this crap one-handed, and your furnace is blasting right in your face. There it goes, if you notice. I'm actually standing on top of one of our fire apparatuses, engine 80. So, there it is. So let's take this over to my little workstation and I'll test it. So here is our ballast. Now this ballast, how it's wired, is your white and your black. These are your powers that are coming over. Uh, black being your main power and your white being your lead back. Now, this actually wires up to both sides. So, this white would actually connect into one bulb and the black would enter into another bulb. And then on the other side, it would have a single lead leading to one bulb and another lead leading to the other, blue and red. Now, we have our lead over here and our two leads over here. The black lead is never tested in this. Here's where I'm at on my multimeter, and it's reading this. Now, let me roll over here. Now I'm going to do test the red lead, which the meter never changes. But if I hit my blue lead, it changes. It should always be an open. It should always look like this. Here's our red. Here is our blue, and it's making a reading it shouldn't read. So this ballast is bad, so I'll pull out the new ballast and show you it. Now here's our new ballast. Our new ballast actually has five wires, and they're wired. Here's your power side, your black and your white, which is right here, and it is connected. No, well, it was. Just get that sitting on there like that. So that's your power side. Now going to your bulbs, you have two blue. Two blue go to each individual fluorescent light to each tombstone. And your red wire comes over and it loops over the two tombstones. So there's not two red wires, just one. And then it'll come over here and be looped onto the two tombstones. Now we're going to check this one to show that it's a good ballast. There we go. Never changed. Hit the last one. Nothing changes. So we know we have a good ballast and we can now install it up there. So I will show you here at the end how this tombstones are wired. This being mounted up in there and it working. So let's get on. Now I want to show how to disconnect the wires out of the tombstone to kind of make this proper. You'll see that there's a little 
insert right there. I just insert the same type of wire and then I can pull them out. And now I can take my new wires off of there and insert them in here without doing a whole bunch of wire nuts. So here's what I got after I'm done rewiring my tombstones. Now the wires come straight from the ballast, straight into the tombstone, no wire nuts. And there we go. Now with the job done, the light is on. Now let me show you how it's wired in there. Now we were working on that light over there, but we were rudely interrupted by a chimney fire. So now we're back at the station and here's how it is now wired. So you have the two blues going to each tombstone, which you've seen how I reconnected them. So there's no wire and then a wire nut and then the wire going over, it goes straightly into the tombstone. And then that single red wire comes over here and gets wired into one of the tombstones. And then you can see up there, I have in between the two tombstones, a loop done the same way. So it loops over into that one. And then there's my power lines, my white and my black. Make sure they're hooked up correctly. And that is how we got that wired. So hopefully that video will help you out on wiring fluorescent lights. That was a, what did I say it was? It was a F96T12 fluorescent bulb. And I should get up there and get a shot of the, uh, the actual, well, no, it's on the other video. So like always, comment, rate, subscribe. The video is what it is. And I will catch you later. And hopefully we can have some better content than me just replacing some fluorescent lights but hey that's what i got and i wanted to start reposting on my uh, youtube so later on